Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. This is my third round of three on Maui in Hawaii. And we are playing Maui Nui Golf Club today. This is the cheapest of the three courses I played. Kind of showing you guys premium course. Still a nice course, but a little less expensive and your kind of budget course. Super fun course, pretty windy today though. So it's definitely gonna be a challenge. So let's see what we can do. All right, first I'll hear it, Maui Nui, 545. Straight down, we're gonna be ripping drop up that right hand side and see what we can do from there. Uh, good part there to start the round. It is a little windy, so it's going to be tough scoring conditions, but we can power through it if we're fighting well. Hopefully, that's going to be a good sign. So, on the second hole, 556 par 5. Feeds back behind that bunker. Ripping driver at that bunker on the right with a little draw. And see if we can get off to another hot start. Uh, good drive here up the left side of the fairway. You got 199 yards to that back pin. Be playing about 190, hitting a smooth six iron, and just try to put it close. Let's see if we can give ourselves an eagle opportunity. Good birdie there. <laughs> Unfortunate that eagle putt lift out. But you know, swing's feeling good today, so I'm hoping we're gonna have a lot more of those today. So on to hole number three, putting 150 of that front pin today. Wind's hard on the left. We're hitting a punch eight iron left side of the green. Let the wind bring it back and see if we can go back to back with birdies. Not a bad part there. Feeling pretty good. Um, yeah, we're going to get the wind pulls now though. 
R4 390 dogleg right. You rip it a low driver pretty much right at that tree. Try to hit a little cut. We'll try to just get it in play and see what we can do from there. Uh, kind of screwed the pooch here. Double cross myself and hit left. Pins back over there. Don't really have much of a shot. We're gonna be punching out right here and just try to get in place, see if we can stay apart. A uh, little bit of an unfortunate hole there. Just kind of messed up the second shot. Gonna move on, we got a lot of golf left. Gone to hole five, par four, 422. Greens back around this corner. We rip in two iron over the corner of these trees. Try to pull it in play and let's see what we can do from there. Hit a really nice drive here. Unfortunately, you can't see the fairway from the tee box. So I took it right over the corner of these trees. And I'm still on this left rough. So we're in a good spot though. We got 127 yards to that pin. We're gonna take a 54 degree wedge, playing about 115, and see if we can put it close. It's hard off the right, right ripping driver over these trees and let the wind pull it back and try to put it in play. Uh, got lucky on this drive, bounced off these trees, came back in the fairway. So we're gonna take advantage of it though. We got 92 yards to this pin. Wind's blowing a little off the right. We're gonna be hitting a 58 degree wedge over the right edge of that bunker and see if we can put it close. Uh, not a bad part there. That is a pretty tough hole. Um, yeah, moving back into the wind now. Hole number seven. 200 yards to that pin today. 
Dendo wind playing about 220. We're hitting a punch four iron. Try to keep it below this wind and see what we can do. Uh, good par save there. Um, another hole into the wind, hole number eight, right by the road. 520 yard par five. Just ripping driver, kind of up this right center. So I put it in play and give ourselves an opportunity to birdie. Not a bad drive here, just a little right of the fairway. Wind held up any draw there. Got a long way in though, so this is gonna be a pretty tough shot. Be ripping four iron pretty much over the edge of this tree here. Try to put it in play and give ourselves a chance to get close on three. Uh, not the best part there, but part nonetheless. Wind's really starting to pick up, so it's getting pretty tough out here. Now the number nine, par four. There is water out there on that right-hand side. It's about 270 away. Be punching a low driver, let it chase. This road does look like it wants to slope left, so let's see what we can do. Uh, not a bad drive here. A little further out than we would want, but we got 144 of that pin. We're playing about 160 low. Let's see if we can put it close and hopefully give ourselves a birdie opportunity. A little bit of an unfortunate bogey there. It's not the best second shot and wasn't the best chip either. So we're gonna move on to the back nine now. 10th hole, 427, par four. We're gonna rip this driver up the right hand side and ride out that tree and let's see what we can do from there. Uh, 
Uh, unfortunately, I hit my ball into this junk here. It does play with lateral hazard, which is a little bit better than out of bounds. So, in three here, we got 152 of that pin. Downhill, side hill, lie into the breeze. Ripping probably a 7 iron over that cart sign, see if we can put it close. how much that turn be good very nice shot All right, a little unfortunate bogey there. Really thought I hit a good putt. My dad's putt broke towards the water and my putt broke up the mountain. So we pretty much, we had a very similar line too. So a little frustrating there, but we got a log off left. And the hole 11, 390 yards. Rip and driver pretty much right over the red tee markers there. Green is just down the hill and to the left. So let's put a ball in play and see what we can do from there. Uh, not a bad drive here, just left of the fairway. Did get a little lucky. We did pull it and we we're right over this bunker. So take a little bit right of that bunker and you're kind of right out here on the fairway. But got 79 yards to that pin. We're on a slight down slope. So we're playing, about, playing it pretty much at the number. Let's see if we can put it close and hopefully make a birdie. I'll go. Got it. Nice birdie. Very nice. Uh, really nice birdie there. Definitely feels good to get another one on the card. Uh, move on to hole 12. 194 yards into the wind. A little bit of a cross breeze as well. You rip it up low for at the left center of the green. Let the wind pull it back to the right and let's see if we can put it close. to the left I'm from back here I'm gonna take it over the corner of this tree wind is kind of helping and allowed the right so take it up there let the wind pull it back to the right and let's see if we can get there in two
All right, hit this drive just right out of the fairway. Kind of hit a little off the heel, but we got a chance to get there in two. We got two thirty five for that pin. Wind is helping him out the left. We hit a four iron pretty much at that bunker right there. Let the wind hold it and push it right. So let's see what we can do. Another really nice birdie there. Definitely feels good to kind of be going low, a little bit lower on the pack nine. We're on to hole 14 now though. 167 yards that back pin today. Playing a little uphill, but the wind is slightly helping. I'm gonna take an eight iron pretty much right at it. I don't think the wind's gonna push it too much to the right. And turn around, we kind of got a cool view. That is the island of Lanai right there with a little bit of the Pacific Ocean between Maui and Lanai. Next to all those ones have a really cool view, so when I see that, I will show you guys. But head back to hole 14 and let's see if we can go back to back with birdies. Got a couple chickens right by our cart with little chicks. Pretty cool. I mean, you see a lot of these, and oh, they are going in the cart. <laughs> That's interesting. Too high, too high, too high. Oh. I knew when I lined it up, it looked high. Good boy. Uh, not a bad par there. Just missed right that putt a little bit. It was cross grain and on a slope, so I thought it would move a little bit more. Still not a bad par though, so we're gonna keep moving on. Hole 15 now. Par four, three, 390 I wanna say. Didn't check the scorecard yet. Really cool view from back here though. You got the West Maui Mountains over there. Once again, the island of Lanai right back there. And I'll see the little channel between the couple islands here. But aside from that view, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be ripping driver pretty much right over their heads. Wind is off the right, and my goal is the next hole is on the other side of those trees. They only they only go short of that first bit of water though, which is like 190 yards to carry. So we're gonna be ripping driver and we're actually gonna try to put it left of this fairway on purpose. Green's pretty or pin's pretty good wolf from over there, so Try to give ourselves a little wedge in as compared to having a layup out here with a two iron or four iron. So, see what we can do. Like I said, rip and driver. Starting it right at their carts, but hopefully end up a little left of the fairway. Yeah, the way it should be right over there somewhere. 
uh, not the best par after driving it pin high. Um, yeah, we're gonna move on to hole 16. A lot of par four, about 385, I think. You hit him two more up his left hand side. Pull this one a little left. We have a swing. We don't really have a shot at the pin, but we can punch it out just short of that bunker. Charlie or something nice, easy chip. It's 148 to the pin, so just a little punch to the seven iron. Get out there and play and see if we can try to save our par. Unfortunately, did not take advantage of that easy hole. Really messed that up. Don't think I even hit a good shot off that hole, which it's really frustrating. I've been playing well all day. Move on to hole 17, though. Part three, 168 yards to that back pin. Playing about 155 with this down, with this wind being at our back. So we're hitting soft nine iron. See if we can put it close. Another cool view over there. That is the uh, Malale Harbor, I think it's pronounced. It is the windiest harbor in the US, second windiest in the world. That's pretty interesting there. Makes sense why it's windy here today. But now back to 17, let's see if we can put this close and hopefully finish. No worse than par par, but hopefully birdie birdie. bad par there. Um, thought that putt was going to break towards the ocean and just pretty much stayed straight. But we got, we're on to our last hole. Par 5, things like 520. Once again, I haven't checked the card yet, but you'll see the actual yardage on screen. Like I said, the par 5, dog leg left. Good opportunity to start the drive up the right hand side and launch it. Same wind direction as 15. So we're going to be looking to kind of do the same thing. Start it right, let the wind take it. I didn't mention earlier about the Isle of Lanai. It is a pretty cool golf course if you guys are able to play it, called the Challenge at Mandalay. Only problem is you have to be staying at the resort there to play it. So if you guys come out here and are staying at that resort, super fun course, highly recommend it. But back to 18, Let's see what we can do and hopefully finish with one more birdie. Nice drive here, got around that corner. Got 166 yards to that pin. Playing 160 downhill, wind should be helping. So we're playing about 150. 
pretty similar to what we did on the last hole. So yeah, let's be hitting a soft nine iron, see if we can put it close and hopefully end off with no worse than the birdie. Uh, that will do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.